Now at 11, local leaders have spent years debating ways to solve our expanding homeless crisis. One new solution they're about to try is going to start accepting new residents in just a few days. The plan is to get people out of tent encampments and cars and into tiny homes. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Cheney live at a tiny home village in Tarzana where some local leaders are actually spending the night. Alex. Yeah, Mark, I'm in the Tarzana cabin community. It is 75 tiny homes that organizers tell me they want to house the homeless with. And we're getting a look at one of those tiny homes. It's about 64 square feet. It features a bed and some shelving units as well. There can be up to 150 beds in this community alone to house the homeless. This is the Tarzana cabin community. It consists of 75 tiny homes that will soon house the homeless. LA City Council members Bob Blumenfield and Kevin DeLeon were security screened before starting their sleepover for the night. I'm excited about today, tonight, to get that firsthand experience of what it's like to, to live. I know it's a, it's a very different experience. You know, for me, it's, it's, it's a one day out of my life. For other folks, it's that transition, but it'll give me a taste. The cabin community offers 150 beds, 10 bathrooms, and 10 showers. Leaders hope these 64 square foot tiny houses give the homeless somewhere to stay off the street. You can't even compare it to sleeping in a tent on cement, concrete, or asphalt. In the park, in an alleyway, on a street, or even in your car. The tiny homes are prefabricated and can be set up quickly. There are two beds in every house with electrical outlets and Wi-Fi. We think that it's really important that the solution come from the population that it's intended to serve, which is why people who have experienced homelessness designed these shelters. The community does have a 10 p.m. curfew, but organizers say they will work with residents who have legitimate reasons to come back later. The organization Hope of the Valley will also give residents three meals a day. We are firm believers and advocate supporters of permanent and permanent supportive housing, but the streets cannot be the waiting room for permanent housing. I'm sitting in one of the tiny homes right now. Let me tell you, the AC is cold and the bed is comfortable. Hope of the Valley hopes to move in the homeless to this area by July 5th. Reporting live from Tarzana, I'm Alex Cheney, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Alex, thank you.